Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another response video. Back again with another episode of, Where Are All The Good Men? Now we don't have the perspective of a woman asking for where are all the good men here. No, we have the perspective of a dude who was trying to date a woman, and he found out that, well, she cares more about having her friends with benefits and getting long schlong on the side than she does about fostering a relationship with the dude who posted this Reddit piece. So before we get into this article, before we get into analyzing the cockatree of the Reddit dating culture, consider donating to paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Every dollar you give goes directly into a joint that is smoked with the smoke going into the nares of a very sensitive asthma induced feminist land whale. They can't stand this cush smoke. It's so annoying and bothersome to them, but I'm still going to smoke it. So if you guys want to keep me smoking it, make sure you hit up that PayPal at paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Now let's get into the story. The title of this one, a girl told me about her friends with benefits situation on our first date. What? Yeah, so imagine going on a first date with a chick and she tells you, like, yeah, I just came from my friends with benefits house right now as I'm talking to you, as you're paying for our first date, as you are trying as hard as possible to convince me to enter a relationship with you in which you get access to my puniti while you are trying everything you are to do that, I am giving up my puniti for free for no relationship for a random bad boy. A random dude. I say bad boy, I say dude, because typically when a girl gets a friends and benefits, she's gonna get one of the body type that she wants the most. She, she's gonna be purely just purely superficial for the sexual access. So I don't see any fat dudes bragging about how their friends have benefits all these chicks. They're not. It's not, it's not a benefit for a chick to, you know, go through your fupa. <laughs> if I can feed it. Now let's let's read this article. He says, I had an amazing first date this weekend. It lasted five hours. Oh my. I don't think I've ever been on a first date that lasted five hours where the chick was actually healthy. You know what I mean? If it's like a two and a half hour date and she's just down to spend the, I, I don't know. I, we'll find out here. But five hour date, I, I, guess, I guess what I'll say is this. Obviously, as evidenced by this story and this hoe who refuses to give up her friends with benefits, a five hour date doesn't mean anything. You could go on a five-hour date with a princess. You can go on a five-hour date with a prostitute. So the five hours means nothing, bruh. He says, I talked about loads of stuff. Had our first kiss. Your first kiss doesn't mean anything, bro. She's had her first dicking on a Tuesday already. She's had her first dicking in the back of your local AMC theater already. She's had her first, you know, schlong in. This, she's probably had her first schlong in right before first date that day. And she thought that was exciting. You thought your first kiss was exciting. She thought talking to you while she was sold to zinc was exciting. This is gross. This guy's getting he's getting used for some chick's fetish. He says it was almost all great, but towards the end, we were sitting down and I said, I'd love to be able to give good back rubs. To which she said something to the effect of, oh, I just got this new nice smelling lotion for massages. I love back rubs. I'm in a friends of benefit situation, and he gives amazing back rubs. Let me say that again. I just got this new, nice-smelling lotion for my... Okay, imagine this. You tell a chick, I love to give back massages. She goes, oh, really? I just got this new lotion. Yeah, I love back rubs. My friends with benefits gives great back rubs. <laughs> you think... You think it's so, does she think... He probably thinks he was going to get invited to give her a back rub. She goes, I got this nice lotion. I love back rubs. Oh, by the way, I'm in a friends with benefits situation, and he gives amazing back rubs. Classic, classic core projection. It's just, it's so, uh, uh, the jaw is on the floor so much. It's just like people, uh, anybody, any random teenager, anybody random who, who believes in the blue pill fantasy of a ma, you know, ma woman can love un unconditionally, right? <laughs> anybody who believes that blue pill fantasy, they're going to be looking at this and they're going to be thinking, is this 2021? This is like, lame dude this this okay this i don't want to say beta this low value man who feels the urge to take this girl on a five hour date spend time money emotional attention on her and she turns on and says oh we're so cool yeah yeah i'm getting fucked on the side by a dude that gives me back rubs yeah i know you want to give me back rubs right now i'm getting fucked on the side by someone who gives me back rubs is that just you know maybe these women 
are absolutely ingrained and raised in a culture of of a uh, turbo salutes of um hedonism like they this girl simply doesn't think that what she does does is a problem she doesn't think that first of all getting easy at giving giving away her puniti for free is a problem here's the thing if a woman doesn't think giving away her puniti for free is a problem she is permanently not in my culture permanently there's no born again virgin there's no regenerating hymen you think that you are equal with men i am going to treat you like a man until the day you die you're 84 begging in the street with two broken hips getting diversified every night i don't give three shits i'll you know what i'll do i will do i'll donate to your little cat yeah i'll get your cat something to eat but you oh no 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 you're a man any woman who uses her pussy to get money over weak men consistently you know like like typical toxic females do we need to treat them like men yes now, i don't mean you can't uh, you use them for their services you can't larp for that larp in front of them get some easy puniti in front of them but never ever ever consider giving a used up western woman the traditional protection that comes with a marriage that comes with um, ownership, even making her a concubine. This chick isn't a concubine. Comes up to me, taught our friends of benefits. You could work at my, you could work at the the chronic hoe house. You could work at the chronic shop. That's about it. Be some practice. He says my stomach sank. It was completely out of left field, and I didn't know how to respond. The conversation sort of shuffled into something else. I suspect because early in the date we were joking about some serious displays of PDA going around along us, which led us briefly to a discussion of kink. She felt maybe the tone was relaxed enough to mention it. You know, this is great. If all I had to do was mention some kinks to get hoes to expose themselves in front of me, I would be walking around with that damn kink chart. They got like the, the survey saying what percentage you are. Yeah, Chronic's 100% Kush smoker kink. He says, regardless, I'm in a weird uh, situation right now. I've only slept with one person at a time, whether it's a friends of benefits, dating, or relationship. I only feel comfortable if that's their view, too. Now I'm going to have to broach the subject if we continue seeing each other. My mind jumped to thinking she's going to ask me to become her second friends of benefits. But I'm, no, 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 no. No, she won't. She doesn't want you for your sex. She doesn't want you for your body. You aren't attractive enough for her to give you sex. This woman is a loose easy woman 99 percent of western women are easy easy because they give up sex before marriage to be quite frank but back to this point she gives it up to her friends of benefits because she wants big angry dominant chad schlong in her punity okay she doesn't think that's what you are you are not tall enough you are not strong enough you are not hot enough you don't make the right groans and months and your schlong ain't thick enough so no don't worry bro you will never have to worry about being her friends of benefits because she values another person's body over how much she values yours. Can you imagine trying to enter a relationship, a marriage, a girlfriend, boyfriend situation where the, the other person valued another person's body over yours? It's like, a, like, like if there's like a girlfriend and she's having her period, she had period cramps and, and her, her man is too busy at the next door neighbor's house, buying his wife chocolate, getting her hot pads and warm pads because she's having period pains. How, how angry do you think that girl would get? How upset, how, how betrayed do you think that woman would feel that her, that her boyfriend, husband, her lover is putting another person's body ahead on the list of importance than her potential partner, her future partner? That's exactly what's happening here. But for men, there really is nothing more intimate than giving your puniti up. Like, a girl might get angry that I gave another girl some chocolate on a period. But if a girl, if a girl is giving another, if a girl blatantly selects another man's body over your own, that's a respect issue. That's her blatantly saying, hey, you know what? Your sperm is not worth anything to me. I want this guy's sperm. And that's what they're saying. That's not what she's actually saying. That's what her body's saying. That's what her, that subliminal biological messaging is saying. I am the kind of woman that gives up my pussy easily, but only to men with high quality sperm, AKA friends of benefits. You don't have to worry about being a friends of benefit because she's making you spend five hours to get access to her punity. This guy's, this guy's going down the, the road of cuckage. 
Let's look at the update, though. He says, um, my mind's jumped. Is she going to ask me for friends with benefits? But I'm just guessing. Plus, that'd be beyond my boundaries. I'd like to see her again. But now there's this hurdle, too. What would you do, guys? I don't see why. Here's the update. I don't see why this up, these people ask for advice. If I went on any kind of date with a chick and she said she's, honestly, if she said she's ever had a friends with benefits, ever, just ever had a friends with benefits, I'm just walking out. I just delete the number, block the bitch on Snapchat, unfollow her on TikTok, whatever else needs to happen. I am 0% interested in a loose woman whose sexual values are just as repulsive to me as Epstein's. Let's look at this update. I received a lot of good advice. The loose consensus was to let her know I was uncomfortable with it. We ended up having a surprisingly lengthy discussion. Her intention was to continue the conversation, but also to be upfront and honest about having a friend's benefits. She admitted it probably came across as tactless. I would have preferred not to know, as I assume people are dating others until exclusivity. Plus, I only want to discuss sexual exclusivity when it becomes relevant. Yeah, so this guy's pretty much going to be mopping up Zinc for the rest of his life. And as long as he doesn't know it's Chad's zinc on his girl, and he's just like, oh, it's just like random zinc that just showed up on this chick. As long as I don't know about it until we're official, he's all right with that. So he's, he's literally going to be prime suspect for reaming and harvesting from the family courts. He says the problem that her preference benefits was brought up straight away, which forced me to find out if she was looking to be exclusive with the right person in the future. She said she would. Okay. This woman is a Western is a Western woman with a body count, probably plus 20. And she says, well, I would become exclusive with someone if they're right in the future. Okay. This woman's exclusivity is worthless. It's worthless. She's had her cherry pop so many times. You know, again, try to make a boat out of sugar cubes and sail it out across the Pacific. You'd have a better chance of making it to, to Tokyo than what you would of having a marriage last more than 10 years with a woman who acts like this. So when she talks about her exclusivity and such, it's worthless to me. In fact, if I had to be exclusive with this chick, I'd consider it a punishment. This woman is so low value, giving it up to friends and benefits. I would be exclusive with the right guy in the future. And you're going to be exclusive with Jesus real soon, aren't you? Ain't no other man going to be interested. She said, I agreed it was way too early for me to ask much of anything at this point, and I wasn't going to. She's being intimate with someone in ways, physically and to an extent emotionally, that I'd be looking to share with someone exclusively. It's not just dating others, it's a sexual relationship. I'm sexually monogamous, proceeding, pr proceeding knowing she's sleeping with someone compromises on my personal boundaries too much. Okay, thank you, this guy's not going to get cut. He said it's too conflicting and difficult to get emotionally invested knowing she's having sex with someone as I'm trying to get to know her. It's also not fair for her either of us have a barrier up on that she until she potentially ends that yeah i don't know why she's going on dates this these these western women are going to dates like from friends with benefits like they're looking for husbands disgusting don't put off any red pills guys come across as the most blue pill kind of person so when you ask about her body her body count you know her partner count how many men that's been with her she'll be more inclined to tell you the truth and when she tells you it's six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, keep that in the back of your head and keep undead chronics advice in the back of your head. Don't love those women. Don't choose to love those women. It is a foolish decision because you will choose to love those women and those women love themselves more than any kids they might have. So like, yeah, I love this woman and I'm going to assume that she's going to love our kids like she says she loves me. Well, guess what? She's taken too much schlong to love you. She's going to compare you to all the men that have been inside of her. So that's too late. And oh, guess what? She's been spending the last 34 or 5 years living for herself. You think she's ever going to be a good mother? No. So she's not even going to love her kids. So why do, why do men interested in having healthy children even engage with such a low value woman? I, I'll never understand. It's been undead chronic, guys. Take it easy. Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, and I have some great news. The Chronicles comic book is finally in the works. Let us celebrate, my brothers. 
but we need to keep this momentum going. We need to fund the pilot comic book and it, we are so close. We are so in range. So if you want to fund the Chronic Chronicles comic book, consider donating to paypal.me slash the chronic. Make sure you tell me in your description that you're donating for the comic book and I can send you some of these dope draw line arts like this. What we got here, Ribby, has been hitting the gyms. My man's deltoids are as big as his damn waist. But Chronic, wielding the sword of Red Pill, is here to cut through the cocks. Now, the pilot for this comic, the first comic for the Chronicles, is uh, the escape from the Google Gulag, where Ribby is going to help Chronic bust out of the censorious prison. Um, you know, slay some cocks, roast some feminists, all that good kind of stuff. So again, if you want to fund this comic book, consider donating at paypal.me slash the undead chronic. We got to keep our artists blazed, my boy.